I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've cried nights just knowing that my family's over there struggling. The pain runs deep for countless Cuban Americans who are taking to the streets to support the uprising in Cuba. Today, thousands marched yet again, vowing to not let up the fight for freedom. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jackie Nesbrill. And I'm Juan Trader. Good evening. NBC6 reporter Jamie Gorilla is live in Hialeah tonight with more on today's protest. Jamie. Jackie and Juwan, day five of continuous protests and demonstrations in South Florida. Earlier today, as you mentioned, thousands of people marched along 49th Street here in Hialeah. Cuban Americans vowing to continue. You know, each time I came to you this evening in a newscast, we introduced you to somebody new. All of them, though, sharing a very. I'm a proud Cuban. Listen, the communism needs to die. Needs to die. Thursday night, after thousands marched up and down 49th Street in Hialeah, we met this 23-year-old standing with a friend on an intersection. 60 years of this and it, that's it. I'm done. I'm over it. That's it. Maria Fernandez standing on this corner, still in her work uniform, carrying a homemade poster with the words Patria y Vida, which means homeland and life. I have nephews. nephews. I have uncles. My, you know, I have my whole family is still up there. Maria dreams of the day of a better life for her family. I feel pain. I feel pain. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I've cried nights just knowing that my family's over there struggling and they're not, they're hungry. They don't have water. They don't have food. They, they wait hours to get a piece of meat and sometimes they can't even get it. Maria's story, an echo of countless Cuban Americans here in Hialeah and South Florida living a free and democratic life and feeling some kind of way that their loved ones can't oppressed by the Cuban over there they're they're they, they don't have what we have here and I wish it could be different for them the city of Hialeah guided protesters as they marched with their message and calls for the US to intervene like it does with other countries facing humanitarian crises my family has been stuck in this in the country for years we've been trying to get them out they don't want to give us they don't want to let us out they don't want to let us out we I, I, I I'm just Right, and the stories we've been hearing, the passion we've been feeling runs deep, generations deep. Everybody from their 20s to their 70s sharing the same experience and feelings about Cuba. As for the march here and rally that took place here in Hialeah, you can see this area at 49th Street and 67th Avenue is clear. That's because police are trying to force everybody uh, west away from this area, trying to get them to go into their cars and go home safely and possibly be out here again tomorrow. Reporting live tonight in Hialeah, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.